Hey everybody, Pastor Jeff, Calvary Chapel, What's Joplin, going on, Missouri. <laughs> and uh, excited to be here with this man. It's been a while yeah, since we while. sat down in, yeah, in this format. <laughs> I see you all the time, but as far as this kind of um, interview and hearing your heart, let pe letting people hear your heart, it's been a minute. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. there's been some things that have happened. <laughs> uh, there's been some changes. Yeah, uh, not bit, the least of which bit, is know, the hairstyle. You know, a little bit of changes here and there. <laughs> Come on, somebody. <laughs> uh, but hey, listen, let's get this elephant out of the room. It's, it's been a, a number of months, uh, but it was a few months ago. There you were, Branson, Missouri, national television, Access TV, fighting for legacy, and bam, you just you got knocked out yeah. in the first round. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you want to make some comments on that? Well, you know, honestly, really, it's not too much to say, Pastor. You know, I, you know, I, I did get banged up with the knee early, early in the fight. I tried to push through it, but you know, uh, that's a fighting game. I've been fighting for about ten years now, and and it's it's bound to happen. I've knocked out a lot of people. Um, shout out to my opponent. You know, he, he threw a punch. I, I thought I could slip out the way yeah. of it. Um, and my reaction was a little bit slower than I thought, mm. and I got caught. That's yeah. just the name of the game. It you know, happens, I, man. you know, I don't, I'm not discouraged about it. You know, you're not I'm, a machine. No, I'm not a machine. I'm a human. <laughs> yeah. you know, so you um, are. Someone can actually defeat T.J. Bad Oh, Newsworth. it happens. Well, yeah. you know, the only reason I'm bringing that up in that light is because since I've known you, which has been a number of years, I have personally been there when people have agreed to fight we've gone through the regimen of training you to fight when i say we that's me very lightly i mean i stand and watch you train. Blue Bell Jiu -Jitsu. Don't let him fool you. He's good. Uh, but um then kind of seemingly out of nowhere and it's discouraging they back out of the fight what you know if i would think that if you were wanting to show the world you were ready for the big leagues you would want the very best I and mean, what are your thoughts on that well you know um You've been there a few times when we, when we got the phone call, you know. Uh, it's very discouraging sometimes, but, you know, I, I, I push through. You know, it's always sad because I never know who I'm going to fight. Mm -hmm. Probably till the week of. I mean, we've had people back out on the night of the fight. We had people back out two weeks before. You know, I mean, my last few has been, um, you know, three, four-week camp. Every person I fought in a full camp, I put away, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and and um, But I don't make any excuses. You know, we train to be well-rounded and yeah. ready. Yeah. And, and so, um, yeah, I got a good camp around me. You know, you and your stuff, I got my coaches around me. I, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so you have in your life uh, been a professional, you've ran professional track. Yes, sir. You've played professional basketball. Mm -hmm. You've done professional mixed martial arts. And now uh, there is a new chapter that's kind of <laughs> unfolding in your life. Um, why don't you comment on that? Well, I'm, I'm going to make my debut as a professional boxer. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. You know, I grew up around boxing. You yeah, know? Yeah. My dad boxed. I had uncles that boxed. Um, we grew up watching you know, boxing all the time. Sure. And so um, you know, I, I think a lot, of these, you know, a lot of boxers, you know, they think MMA can't transition over. Uh, but I, I started off boxing. So... You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be fun. I got my hands full the first fight. I, I, I like <laughs> you that. You got a tough. I like that I, guy I, coming I, down the pike. For I like it. it, so I'm excited. Okay, well, you know, and for a lot of people, that might be like a shock. Like, what? This guy's ran professional track. He's he's uh, done some professional uh, basketball. He's fought professional mixed martial arts, and now doing professional boxing i mean what what gives and, and it, it can be a surprise for a lot of people to see that kind of transition from one to the other to the other but it doesn't shock or surprise you why is that um well you know what pastor when i was about 14 13 14 years old i had a a pastor prophesied to me and tell me you're going to be a professional athlete mm. uh, he never said a professional basketball player he said an athlete mm. and and i'm here to tell you that god is faithful amen and um and so, you know, here I am. This is my fourth professional sport uh, contract I've, I've signed. And so wow. I'm just truly blessed. Wow. I'm truly blessed. You yeah. are, man. Praise God. Uh, so, listen, we're not here to take all day for this. We want to, you know, let you get back to the things you've got to do. But, you know, there's a lot of people checking this out. They're interested in what's going on in your life. Is there anything you would like to say before uh, we close you this know, up? Honestly, Pastor, I just want to just thank you personally for always being there with me. I mean, you get to see a lot of the... Uh, behind the scenes that no one can see. You know, you, you train with me, you know, you're always with me, you mentor me all the time. And so you're with me a lot of time. I get those phone calls, or you're the first phone call that I get, I'm calling afterwards, um, you know, kind of picking me up to stick mm -hmm. with it. And, and I appreciate that. I appreciate you and your family, First Lady. And, you know, I want to thank my wife, my family, you know, my kids, they, they you know, um, 
people see me on TV and they see me doing all this stuff, but my family sacrificed a lot, mm. you know, so I want to thank them uh, just for always pushing dad and, and from Brittany, a husband, to be the best I can be. Yeah, and, I, and I'm just, I'm honored, man, for the, the support that I get. I mean, mm. I'm one of the biggest ticket sellers in Missouri, in the Fort State area. Wow. And, uh, you know, and it shows. Hey, man, to God be the glory for that. Absolutely. So I'm just thankful for that. So thank you guys for supporting. And, and like I always say, I live my life in one way, one, one way only, just keeping God first. So you, you're doing the boxing. Does that mean you're done with MMA? Oh, no. Hey, big fight news coming soon.